Good morning. Good morning. Welcome back to Bible and Blues. Uh, I overslept again. <laughs> so here I am at work. I had breakfast while I was driving in, so I'm kind of looking to make sure I don't have any food in my beard. You know, it's a fact. Women who like men with beards have more sex with their husbands who have beards. It's true. Anyway. So, grow a beard. <laughs> Be good for your love life. Really? Okay. So, <laughs> today we're doing Psalm 19. Um, and uh, it's another Psalm of David, of course. Uh, so, uh, let's continue on. The heavens declare the glory of God. The skies proclaim the work of his hands. Day after day they pour forth speech. Night after night they display knowledge. There is no speech or language where their voice is not heard. Their voice goes out to, into all the earth, their words to the ends of the world. In the heavens he has pitched a tent for the sun, which is, which is like a bridegroom coming forth from his pavilion, like a champion rejoicing to run his course. It rises at one end of the heavens and makes a, cir makes a circuit to the other. Nothing is hidden from his heat. The law of the Lord is perfect, reviving the soul. The statutes of the Lord are trustworthy, making wise the simple. The precepts of the Lord are right, giving joy to the heart. The commands of the Lord are radiant, giving light to his eyes. The fear of the Lord is pure, enduring forever. The ordinance of the Lord are sure and altogether righteous. They are more precious than gold, than much, than much pure gold. They are sweeter than honey, than honey from the comb. By them is your servant warned. In keeping them is there is great reward. Who can discern his errors? Forgive my hidden faults. Keep your servants also from willful sons. That may they not rule over me. Then I will be blameless, innocent of great transgressions. May the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be pleasing in your sight, O Lord, my rock and my redeemer. Here is the reading of the Lord. Thanks be to God. You know, I, I'm enjoying this part of Psalms. Uh, you know, um, so... The heavens declare the glory of God. The skies proclaim the work of his hands. And, you know, that is true. I mean, there's, there's, it's incredible to look up into the sky, uh, whether it's through by the daylight. Uh, you see, uh, right now it's raining, but I can look up and I can see the majesty of God in the rain that's falling and in the green that's around me in this beautiful area that I live in. Uh, and if I was in a desert, I could see uh, the glory of God and the incredible diversity of life that appears that, that you can't this is there in spite of how barren it looks. God has put so much life in the desert. Uh, you look over the vastness of the ocean and you can see the glory of God in that. If you look at nature, you cannot I, personally. OK, I cannot look at nature without seeing uh, just the glory of God everywhere I everywhere I look, whether it's where man has planted trees. I mean, I'm looking at a row of trees in front of me that are being used as a wind block, and uh, you know they, they 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 use them as wind blocks from you know from property to property in, here in the valley, in the industrial valley of uh, here in Kent, Washington. But you know, I I can see the majesty of God in those trees reaching up into the heavens. Uh, and the, the, the heavy equipment that's, that's uh, operating across the way from me here next door, I can see the hand of God and the innovation of man that, that, that God gave us to produce some of these incredible pieces, pieces of equipment. Uh, and seeing this and seeing the glory of God in all that you look at, uh, when you look for it, it's there. No matter how you how you look, uh, in the challenges that I have in, that, that we have in our lives, I, we all have huge challenges. You know, a couple of mine. I have. I think I said, is that a piece of food or something? I'm not sure if it was just liquid or what. I was kind of glistening off of there. There's glory of God in there. <laughs> so, uh, so hey, uh, good morning. Uh, we are here. Uh, let's let's let the, let's let the glory of God shine through our hearts. Uh, the broken vessels that we are, that will shine through the cracks of our vessels and shine on the people that we work with every single day. Uh, you know, let us be the light. Uh, let, let the light of God shine through us uh, out into the world 
and keep this world, make this world a better place. Uh, God bless. I've rambled on long enough. I'll talk at you later.